this is not just an isolated artifact. This is a real dynamic signature of a consistent functional aspect of, of the foot. Remarkably uh, compelling evidence. My research emphasis is on the form and function of the human foot and its evolutionary history. If I had nothing but the footprint evidence, the casts that were recovered from this site, I would be very convinced of the credibility of the film. The Sasquatch has retained the more primitive characteristic of a very flexible instep, a midfoot flexibility, which can be seen here. So as the heel comes up in the supporting foot, uh, the heel moves somewhat independently of the rest of the foot. This allows for a combination of propulsion and prehension or the grasping ability of the foot. That indicates the ability to navigate that very rugged, steep terrain that you can see uh, surrounding this film subject. That's a remarkable detail that uh, is rarely drawn attention to. This is the contrast between the Sasquatch foot and the human foot. It can sometimes cause some of the, the substrate, in this case that sandbar, to be forced back up as a pressure ridge because of the arch, giving the foot a much more stable uh, leverage, very different adaptation for, for walking. But that distinctive combination of features evident in the Sasquatch foot is very elegantly adapted to the habitat in which they're found in. And that motion was uh, recorded in some of the footprints in a very dramatic way. So this is one of the casts from the Patterson-Gimlin film site. Here you can see the negative space that's left as the, as the substrate is pushed up by the pressure now over the forepart of the foot. You have to remember a footprint is not a mold of a foot, but it's the record of the entire sequence of interactions of the foot with the substrate through the entire stance phase. And that's definitely one of the significant things we shouldn't overlook because right. we saw in the in the stabilization that the, 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 the foot was peeling off substantially. So there's a lot of flexibility in both directions, right? This isn't just some cast of a foot that you stuck onto the bottom of a shoe. Or some carved wooden foot uh, stompers that one attaches to some hiking boots and stomps around through the mud and the dirt and sand to uh, leave, uh, leave spurious tracks. Certainly not, this is a living foot.